good morning uh, today I'm going to do something I have never done before uh, I'm actually going to walk across what you see behind me here and that is the 4th Street Bridge in uh, Los Angeles this is a bridge from the 1930s early 1930s I think they opened the bridge in 1931 here and it's actually connecting East Los Angeles here uh, I think the area here is Boyle Heights and it goes across the river and you can't see the river right now but it, it goes straight into the art district on the other side and uh, uh, as far as I understand here this used to be like a wooden bridge in, in this location here and they actually took that away and built up this concrete bridge so it would be really interesting to, to actually use my feet and do some walking here in Los Angeles it's not every day you kind of walk around in downtown LA and downtown is just across on the other side here actually so I, I say we, we start to walk right now how about that guys uh, so let's uh, find out if this is a cool bridge or not okay at the beginning here uh, on the East LA side is actually here by Anderson Street and uh, this is really an industrial area here and you can see these big trucks coming here with uh, you know the goods right and they go into to the side here to all these warehouses and uh, you know smaller factories they have here so actually this is just the first step here in the beginning and I will quickly cross the street here I'm running because I'm breaking some rules here okay and I'm just coming in here the first couple of yards here in the beginning of this bridge or maybe this is the ending I don't know what do you guys think is this bridge starting in the arts district or in East LA I don't know it doesn't matter right and I kind of like these uh, side buildings here they are probably very old as well right keep in mind this area oh man well we have a speed a speedway guy here yeah so a bridge like this is already a hundred years old right and it's still in use and uh, as you can see here if we count one two three four they have two lanes in each direction and they have this weird middle lane here that you can use sometimes you see these weird signs they have up there D depending on the time of the day right I see the red X and the, the green arrow and, and it's, it's kind of confusing I've never really seen that before here is when I'm looking uh, north this is what you see yeah lots of uh, barbed wire here otherwise you would you would have people living on, on this roof here it's kind of interesting uh, and I'm looking at that, that sign up there watch the road what does that mean I mean this road I don't know watch the road I have no idea what that means anyway here so we are passing over some uh, railway tracks here and uh, if you continue here just a little bit you will end up in Union Station actually kind of behind that tall building you see in the middle of this video here so it's definitely in use the, these are not dead tracks it's uh, kind of active stuff and we are slowly here coming up to uh, to the river it doesn't really look like a river kind of because it's all uh, concrete and they, they built a concrete uh, you know to get rid of the annual flooding so yeah. 
and you have four of these uh, I'm not sure what to call these things if they are towers or whatever but uh, you have actually four two in the beginning and two in the end to make it look really cool yeah, and I'm kind of in the middle of this bridge now looking looking north and I think it's a pretty cool uh, cool view here uh, I mean you have the the downtown area up there, uh, basically Bunker Hill up there. You see all these tall buildings there. You see the city hall in the background, the, the white uh, rocket-like building. Uh, and you see many other iconic things. So basically this is where Los Angeles started back in the days, say 120 years ago, maybe 140 years ago. It was just on the other side here. So it's really an historic district here in Los Angeles. And if I'm looking south here, we see the river on the other side. You can barely see it, but let's give it a shot anyway. Actually, the best I can do is just to... I'm crossing the, the bridge here. I want to show you the view. You have more water here on this side. Take a look here. Wow, it's kind of kind of cool. I'm passing this bridge here and there, you know, but uh, to walk here the first time. Is it worth it? Yeah, I think so. It's kind of cool, right? You feel like you are living the history of Los Angeles. So so the, this bridge is is just you know, 90 plus years. Let me see if I can get back here to the other side because of the light. Actually, you know what? I'm going to continue here on this side for another 100 yards. How about that? So I'm just walking here on the southern side of the bridge here. And you know what's happening here on a bridge like this is that people actually live under the bridge and they also live on top of the bridge. And I'm coming up to somebody's uh, home right here. They are living in these uh, towers here. Uh, the, the other one is vacant. Uh, you can still live there. And uh, yeah, it's crazy, but it's true actually. And it's interesting to see. I, I read an article about the, the bridge they are building on the other side. And they say that it's supposed to be ready in the end of the year. It's kind of hard to believe, but... Well, if we are lucky, maybe there will be another bridge over there. That's an example of the, uh, the type of architecture they, they, they used here. And they have these uh, commuter trains down here. The last maybe 10-15 years, this entire area here, all the way up to, to downtown in Bunker Hill, has changed dramatically because they actually are, um, you know, changing some of these buildings into uh, apartment buildings. They build these artsy lofts on the other side uh, and they modernize so some of the older buildings. So you have a lot of new, fresh blood in this area here. So I, I think this big building here, I'm just guessing here. They have the metro rail shops. They are basically fixing, I think, these trains here in, in this building here. So if these commuter trains are breaking down here, they have to drag them in here. I see some trains uh, on the inside here. This one actually gives you a cool angle of the bridge. I actually tried to find a better shot here, but it's actually really hard to go down to the sides here because of all these tracks. Everything is kind of closed. There is actually another way you can come up on the bridge, and that's right here. I'm not sure what the street is on the other side here, but 
you have this side ramp right here. I'm almost in the arts district here and uh, if you take a look back maybe you can see these four towers here. I wonder if they call it towers. Well, what could be the name, right? I don't know. I just call them towers, how about that? You know what I mean. Another interesting aspect here is that this is a very famous bridge though. They, they use it all the time in movies. You have seen Hollywood movies, you have seen this bridge, right? They use it for commercials and all that stuff. So it's, it's actually heavily used for, uh, for these uh, profit organizations, right? They love this bridge. Uh, and, and it's also like a cool environment. You know, you can drive in right into to this old district here, this business area, and it looks just fantastic on, on screen, right? So there you have it. You have probably seen this before. If you continue to walk here, you, you follow this 4th street. Uh, a couple of city blocks here, you make your right and you will be in Little Tokyo. And you can already guess here that you are getting close to the arts district here where all the artsy people live. I don't even know what that thing is, that you know, brown and black thing. But I'm sure it is some kind of sculpture. At least it looks really artsy. Also, look at the barbed wire here. I mean, you know that stuff is happening here in the nighttime, right? Basically, whatever business you have, it's all surrounded by high fences and barbed wire. I made it to the other side. Was it a nice walk? Yes, it was. It was really cool, actually, because normally you drive across, and this time I walked for the first time, and it was really, really interesting. I mean, you get a totally different view of, of Los Angeles when you're using your feet, right? So walking is better. It takes time though, so maybe you don't have that time, but at least if you are in the area, you should definitely see the 4th Street Bridge here because it's such an important, iconic bridge here in Los Angeles. They have many more bridges over the river, but at least this one is really a central bridge here uh, going in between the eastern side and, and the downtown area as you can see behind me here so uh, I think it's fun and I recommend it to you too come and try it leave the car use your feet see you next time